Hello, hello. God bless you. God keep you. God keep you and God watch over you and give you his grace and his mercy forevermore. I thought I might read some excerpts from Dr. Martin Luther King's book, one of his books. I Have a Dream is the title of the book. Uh, and uh, this is his take on man. Man, there is something within man which cannot be explained in chemical and biological terms. For man is more than a tiny gallery of whirling electrons. Man cannot save himself. For man is not the measure of all things and humanity is not God. Bound by the chains of his own sin and finiteness, man needs a savior. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Dualism. Man is neither villain nor hero. He is rather both villain and hero. Man has a dual citizenry. He lives both in time and in eternity, both in heaven and on earth, gentle and tough. Jesus reminds us that the good life combines the toughness of the serpent and the tenderness of the dove. To have serpent-like qualities devoid of dove-like qualities is to be passionless, mean, and selfish. To have dove-like without serpent-like qualities is to be sentimental, anemic, and aimless. We must combine strongly marked antithesis. Good and evil. There is some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. Internal and external. Each of us lives in two realms, the internal and the external. The internal is the realm of spiritual ends expressed in art, literature, morals, and religion. The instrumentalities are means by which we live. These include the house we live in, the car we drive, the clothes we wear, the economic resources we acquire, the material stuff we must have to exist. There is always a danger that we will permit the means by which we live to replace the ends for which we live. The internal to become lost in the external. Physical needs. In any realistic doctrine of man, we must be forever concerned about the physical and material well-being. When Jesus said that man cannot live by bread alone, he did not imply that men can live without bread. As Christians, we must think not only about mansions in the sky, but also about the slums and ghettos that cripple the human soul. Not merely about streets in heaven flowing with milk and honey, but also about the millions of people in this world who go to bed hungry at night. Spiritual. Man is a being of spirit. He moves up the stairs of his concepts into wonder, world of thought, conscience, speaks to him. He is reminded of things divine. That is what the psalmist meant when he said, that man has been crowned with glory and honor. Man's spiritual quality gives him the unique capacity to live on two levels. He is in nature, yet above nature. He is in space and time, yet above them. He can do creative things that lower animals could never do. Man can think a poem and write it. He can think a symphony and compose it. He can think a great civilization and produce it. Because of this capacity, he is not bound completely by space and time. Man. God bless you. God keep you. 
God it has been a good day. I didn't know what I didn't know and I had some fear because I didn't know how I was going to take care of some things. But God came through. God came through. God bless him. God bless. God bless God. Can God bless himself. <laughs> I bless God. Thank you, God. You're awesome and you're mighty and you're wonderful. Oh my God, you are so wonderful. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for waking me up this morning, starting me on my way. I thank you for the movement of my limbs. I thank you for the movement of my lips. I thank you, Lord, for the thoughts in my mind, the good thoughts. I pray, Lord, that you continue to remove anything that's blocking me from doing your will and from getting closer to you. And to the vision that I believe that you placed in me. I am forever yours. Amen.